What's good, Geezy Gang? I hope everybody is fantastic. We're coming to you live, but not live from Orlando, amidst some destruction that is going on here. Jojo, what's happened to your leg up? Is it time to break it up now? Yeah. You're like Godzilla marching through the town. Oh, giant. That doesn't seem any better. So today, what we're going to show you, a lot of you guys have asked, how do we homeschool Jojo when we're abroad? Now, if you remember our previous video when I said about our homeschooling routine, and our setup and how we normally take a tub of learning. Obviously, going abroad, that wasn't as practical to take that tub. So we've been doing a lot of learning on the go with the, to the different places we've been going, incorporating different learning aspects in those different places. But also we have some core things that we still do in the hotel, especially in the morning. So for example, we started off this morning, as soon as we got up, we always read, we read Harry Potter. Then today we went and got some breakfast and then Jojo's activity that he's interested in today, he wanted to learn about how trains work. We normally take an activity in interest of his like that and then use some learning components within that so reading writing and other activities and also as well I'm going to incorporate the destruction of this Lego into something as well I think that maybe some maths normally a big reason why we don't show you too much of what we're doing homeschooling wise within our vlogs is because we like to try and give Jojo our full attention rather than having a camera but I'm going to try and include bits now and then as we go or try and position the camera somewhere and try and show you guys exactly what goes on but right now we're continuing with destruction some of this has survived so far Jojo are you ready to learn about trains Hey, let's go. So Jojo, I'm going to be talking to the geese again, just showing them how we homeschool you while we're abroad. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so first what we're doing, guys, we're just going to look up some maybe some videos or things to read just to find out about the mechanics and how trains work. Yeah? Which video do you reckon we should pick? Got to, that's freight trains. Freight trains! You want to learn about that one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It can carry thousands of gallons of chemicals, water, fuel like gasoline and diesel, and even molasses. So a tank car carries all liquids. What other liquids do you think it could carry? Milk. Maybe, yeah? Almonds. Almond milk? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a lot of almond milk. That'd be a big bowl of cereal, wouldn't it? Yeah, ma imagine there's loads of cereal there then. Tons of Maybe there's a cereal car. Be <laughs> safe around trains. So long! That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Nice nice and short video and it's just simple information. So while we were here, we got some writing books for Jojo and that just to do some different writing in. And you know, now and then he just does a little uh, page or two just about different things we've learned about or he's been writing some stories and creative writing still. You can see, nice and careful. Keep them on that line. So yeah, Jojo's just doing some reading. We'll write some facts about freight trains. But then he said, you know, he wanted to write about something different. Now, when it comes to writing, we're just more concerned about him practicing writing, getting used to it. But he wanted to do something creative. But he said he wanted to do it in secret, and me and Mummy had to go and sit over there. I can't wait to see how this story unfolds. Yeah, I think it might take about three days. The important thing with writing as well is to follow their joys and creativity. He's written four lines pretty quickly, wasn't it, really? That's good, though. It's good that you create yeah, that. Yeah, no, that's five lines, one. Oh, it is five, yeah. So, we finished doing our writing and our reading and learning about trains. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah. And now we've uh, continued with some destruction of the Lego and you've started creating something completely different. Oh. <coughs> what we're going to do now, we're going to do some maths with this, aren't we? Yeah. And now I can build something new. If you want, yeah. What do you think? Either I build something new or finish off my story. Leave it in the comments. Well, by the time they do, it'll be too late. You would have already decided, wouldn't you? Then decide now, then. It's not a live stream. <laughs> you just like interacting with the geezer gang, don't you? So we have this special maths game we play together. We use Lego as well, or other tends to be toys or playtime equipment to do multiplication. We do this game where we test each other with different groups of amounts. So you might have five groups, each containing seven each, and it's like you've got to figure out what the sum is, five times seven, and then what that total is. Okay, Jojo, I've put together your ones on the table here. You've got to tell me what the sum is and then what the answer is. Six and nine, we have three groups. So what is the sum? Three times six. Now, do you know the answer to that? Or can you count it and figure it out? Okay. Three lots of six. Yeah, that's right. So I know six plus six is 12. Yeah, so you've moved those two groups together and then you want to add another six to that. 18. Yeah, good stuff. Oh my God, that's a good five. Well done, mate. And here comes the victory dance. That's quite the dance. So what I found good about this process is it's always really good to try and incorporate learning 
with the things they used to play, the things that they associate fun with. It helps their interest and then you just incorporate that. I just made up this game. What's good as well is that with this particular game, he knows what the amounts of the numbers look like. He knows what a group of six looks like. He knows what three groups of six looks like. And then he adds them in his own way together as well. Dude, I'm gonna test it on you. Yeah, so it's your turn to now test it on me. Use those pieces, go on. So, close your eyes. No, look in, Giza gang. Giza gang, we gotta go away. Tell me what he's doing, Giza gang. Done it. So now I've got to come over and count. So what do you think the answer will be? Find okay, out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in each group. Yeah. So then we've got one, two, three, four groups. Four times nine. Right, okay. So I know the answer to this because I know my math, but because we don't have a math chart or anything to not reference like we do at home, I'm going to show you the ways we do it. So 9 plus 9 is 18. We know that's quite a simple one. So yeah. then. So, three, like, you need to add two 18s, basically. Two 18s? Oh, that's a good idea. So 9 plus 9 is 18. And 18 plus 18 is 36. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. My turn, my turn. I think what's good about this is getting him to be in the position to teach as well. It feels like a level playing field. He doesn't feel like he's just on the receiving end of learning. He gets to test me as well. And then he can see in the way that I learn as well and learn from that. In a way, I guess I'm like a learning partner in a school environment, I guess it might be comparable to. But I'm a cooler learning partner. So now we've finished that maths activity, I was saying to Jojo, like, oh, okay, after that, you can go back to any sort of playing or anything else you want to do. Because we try and do the learning first in the morning. But he said he wants to continue his story. So that's a lot of writing, mate. Well done. So for the morning, that's some of the elements we will have in his homeschooling. We try and get it in the beginning of the day when his mind is fresh and he's ready to go and he's full of energy as well. We haven't shown you all of that we've done today, but we actually have a big activity that we're doing today because Jojo has something which he's really, really interested in and he has been for a while, the Titanic. He hasn't seen the film, he knows about it, he's seen little clips and he wants to know more about it, he wants to know more about what happened. So, luckily, right around the corner from where we're staying, there is a Titanic experience. It's like a museum and little event where you can go and find out about it. So we're going to go there today as a learning activity. So, after a very good morning faff... Hi guys! <laughs> oh yes, it's Katie! She exists! <laughs> We're finally on the way to the Titanic, is it experience or exhibition? Yeah, look, I've got a thing in my hand. Yeah, we've got some coupons for dollars off. Talks about more than 300 artifacts and room recreations. Because Jojo's been really interested into it for a while, we think it'd be a really good thing for him to learn about, just following his interests. And what's even better is that Katie, for all of us now, is gonna give a rendition of My Heart Will Go On. Um, no. <laughs> what? He started singing it this morning at the top of his- What? No! Get attacked by Celine Dion, agent. You forget, we have neighbours. Where? In the bushes. You can't just go around doing that. Oh, right, okay. We'll stay. <laughs> thought you were censoring my face. <laughs> Yes, Jojo's feeling it now. Your turn, babe. You've got a lovely voice. We've, we've had a browse in there before, right? But we've never really known what's in there. I guess we're going to find out. That's the point of trying new things, isn't it? Excuse me, I'm the leader. And you're the leader, are you? Okay, mate. I was pregnant with Sam when I watched it at the cinema and I thought I was going to be sick the whole time and I was just sipping bits of Pepsi, just like praying that I was going to be sick. Here we are. Every night in my dreams. I was going to say, does anyone know about any of the conspiracies about the Titanic? Because that's another thing I've just come across. It's actually a tragedy, regardless of what's happened, people die. Yeah, I know. There's nothing nice it's, about it, it was, is there? It, it was sad. Let's go in rather than just being sad about it. Baby, how do we get in? Oh, is that, is that the door there? Yeah. You go through and you find out more, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, look, we've actually got identities and everything. So I'm Mr. Edwin Nelson Gimbal Jr. from Boston, Massachusetts. You're my wife, Gertrude Parsons Kimball. I'm 42. There's this other person, Mr. William Gilbert, 47, from Cornwall, England. We've travelled alone. And then there's a young Mrs. Sebastian Del Carlo, our Jean Genovese. She's from Italy and um, she's accompanied by her husband, Sebastian Del Carlo. So apparently there's five of us. Ah, uh, wait a minute. We're first class, the other two are second yeah. class. But yeah, they've got like backgrounds and facts about passengers and everything. Unfortunately, we just found out we can't actually take it in there. We won't be able to show you so much, but he's going to give you a big description of everything in there afterwards. Young man, shall we board the Titanic? So 
we are all done at the Titanic exhibition. What did you think, Jojo? Did you enjoy it? It was amazing. It was brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah, what was your favourite thing you saw in there? The thing where we looked at the ocean. When you, oh, looked at the ocean, yeah. Basically, it was just like you stepped on board the Titanic and they had all replica models of how it looked inside and different areas of the ship, the engines, the outside bit. They had actual stuff as well, which oh, they yeah. got off the... Yeah, they had real replica stuff. And what was that big thing at the end that they had, Jojo? Iceberg. They had an actual iceberg, like a big chunk of ice there. He's gone. <laughs> you around. Don't eat my foot. <laughs> this is what happens. You go and do something exciting and you want to eat your parents' feet. It was quite creepy, wasn't it? Yeah. Something? To wear like the... The, the captain's bit where there's where the, the steering wheel on that yeah yeah that was pretty creepy because it was so dark in there because they just had like there windows strange music. they were trying yeah. to replicate how it was that night you guys did it though jojo yeah so jojo that was your homeschooling project and fun thing for today we can go back and write about that today and maybe or maybe I tomorrow write my story. you want to write more of your story yeah i was going to say what do you want to do now i want to play with you yeah and just let you know you're it right <laughs> It. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> Dodge. Oh no, you got me. Sorry, mummy. Oh. It. I love running away from mummy. <laughs> Bag doesn't count. Doesn't count. Look, Jojo. There's a school bus. Something you won't have to get on today. Now Jojo has decided that we're going to go to Chuck E. Cheese, which used to be a frequent fixture when we came to Orlando before, but we haven't even been there once, have we? No. Chuck E. Cheese. What happened there? Me and you were having a very serious discussion and then this random thing just took a photo of us <laughs> we and we're like that in the middle of... It just like totally distracted us. I can't even remember what we were talking about. Why is the photo gone now? I don't know. Like, they want you to put money. Because it's a photo booth inside and it took a yeah. picture of you it's outside. Big... Yeah. That was weird. See look, it's doing it's it now, look, look. <laughs> we didn't even put any money in and that happened. Jojo decided we'd come to Chuck E. Cheese. Found that there's no play area here anymore. And there's this arcade full of games. But he just used his imagination. He's been running around for like 20 minutes now. Just playing his own game in his own head. And I found four tickets. Yeah, so it just wins all <laughs> round. you like to find a kid to give these tickets to? Hold on to them then. Woo! You probably guess we're in a gift shop. We couldn't quite make it home just yet. This one is a gift shop to get pulled in. Right, we are back at the hotel now. We've decided to come for an evening swim. It's a bit chilly outside, but once you get in the pool, it's a lot better. However, Katie got in. Jojo's fine. Katie got in, had already got too cold, so she bottled it and has got straight into the hot tub. What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. There's no excuse for me. Just before we round up this video, because I really want to get in the pool, I just want to give some nice shout outs to some of you guys that have requested them. Big shout out to Faye Croucher. You leave so many comments on our videos. You come on the live streams all the time. Thanks so much for always watching. Big shout out too to Alicia Powell. Thank you too for coming on to the videos. Thank you guys for always commenting. If you guys ever want to shout or if you've left one and you haven't got it yet, put it in the comments below. We try and get to everyone we can. And let us know in the comments below what you think about this video, what you think about how we homeschool when we're on the road or when we're away on holiday. I love to always hear your comments and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.